going on guys it's your boy welcome to part number 12 of gta 5 for the xbox series x what the fuck's going on guys it's saturday 420 it's fucking 420 so for all my reefer smoking homies to all my people that actually enjoy smoking weed salute to you guys i'm not a big weed smoker um uh, actually Actually, I, I'm going to share a quick story about that, but oh, it's not even that quick, but I, I'm going to share a story. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a big uh, weed smoker, but um, I have nothing against those who actually do smoke weed and all that stuff. You do you. I really don't give a fuck. I mean, it. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I don't I mean, I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, guys, it is 420 today. I'm uh, about to get the stream going. My buddy, he said uh, he's going to make his way here in about a few hours. So I'm just going to get this stream out the way. I don't know how long I'm going to stream. Probably going to be like an hour, hour and a half. So nothing too crazy, but at least we're going to have some substance. And hopefully we make some progress. Um, but yeah, guys, it, it is 420, like I said. And I do have uh, stories of the few times that i have smoked weed and uh, i want to share my experience again th this is my personal experience and um it's the main reason why i don't smoke weed i again i don't have anything against people who smoke weed i mean if you do it you know god bless you i mean do do whatever the fuck you want like i said before um my opinion on people who smoke weed doesn't change at all like it's i, I really don't care just not for me uh that's why i'd rather just drink beer and you know, do some zins and shit like that. Other than that, I've never tried any other drugs. I've never tried coke. I've never tried meth. I've never tried any of those other crazy drugs. I've only just drank nicotine and I, I smoke weed a few times. Um, so yeah, guys, like about six years ago, whenever I was, damn, it's been six years. Fuck, that's crazy. Or it's probably even been more. Well, I think we're, it's been five for sure, but I'm going to just stick with five. So around like five years ago, um, uh, whenever I was living uh, still in Fresno, going to Fresno State, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a secret. I've said it on previous parts. Um, yeah, so whenever I was living in Fresno and going to Fresno State, uh, I was, I never smoked weed once. I, I never did. Um and then whenever i went to fresno is whenever like i was exposed to it so i remember i did a little bit here and there it wasn't anything crazy i remember the first time i did it like i i was just slumped like i was paranoid like i and it wasn't i don't even think it was a strong strain to be quiet i don't even know what to smoke uh I, I just smoked what i smoked and it just like kind of like just slumped me like i was just like this and I was just like lost in thought like those videos that you see of people who smoke weed and they're just on the couch just like staring with the blank stare don't even blink that was me and it's not so much that you freeze it's just you get lost in your own mind if that makes any fucking sense you just get lost in your head and you're just thinking and thinking and thinking and and I just ultimately got paranoid because I was just there just thinking and then like I was like fuck and then I was what made it worse was that fucking uh my friend that gave me the weed his girlfriend um was like drunk out of her mind she was obliterated and he was just looking after her uh another one of my homies and his girlfriend was there too and i think they were like slightly drinking they weren't drinking anything heavy but she was the one that was drunk i i think the other girl was drunk too but i she was definitely like drunk um so it was just weird because like that was my like trip setter is like I'm like trying to f get a handle of my own thoughts and my own mind and yet I'm you're over here like acting all crazy and I'm just like it just made my head spin and things like that so then I just went home and it wasn't for me but then I ended up smoking it again a week later uh this one in a more little controlled setting so it was cool but then like as soon as I smoke weed like I get this tingly feeling in my in my fingers and in my arms that oh fuck all right you you're about to like feel that sensation ultimately i never liked it and then i remember after that i smoked another time with one of my friends because that's a big stoner and he told me he's like dude like like um you know i haven't seen you in x amount of years or or whatever 
and I know he was a big stoner and he's all dude and the thing is whenever we met each other I was a drinker and he was a smoker so then whenever we crossed paths again and we hung out at this party that we went to I was um a drinker still and I told him I smoked weed a few times and then he was still a big ass stoner but he started drinking he's all bro how the fuck am I gonna see you at a party and now we both do each other's like favorite drug i guess you can call it or whatever and you're not gonna you know i'm over here drinking with you how are you not gonna smoke with me and i was like fuck well dude like that's how that's how cool i was with him um so i just said fuck it and we did it and like i was already drunk though i was like probably four five six beers in i was pretty drunk but the thing is like he was um He's like, oh, here you go, bro. Like, uh, like smoke some of this. And the, and the crazy part is, I had a dealer. I knew somebody in Fresno that would hook me up with some pretty good shit. And I told my friend, I was like, dude, look, check this shit out. Like, I know what's, I know, look, okay, I, although I don't smoke, I know what's good and I know what's ass. So I told him, I was like, look, bro, I got this weed from this dude. He sells it. He's like, I, you have to try it. He's like, all right, fuck it. Like, bring it. And I got him some. And he's like, immediately, he's like, oh my God, like, this shit's good. And then he's like, bro, like, come on, you have to smoke with me, this and that. Like, we haven't seen each other in a long time. And I said, all right, fuck it. And then there goes me, dr my drunk ass, drunk ass gonzo, smoking fucking weed while I'm drunk. So I got crossfaded. And I, th I think it's funny because, like, whenever I'm drunk, I mean, some of you guys see me. Uh, whenever I stream, I'm, like, a little bit more loose and more talkative and shit like that. And I just get more into my element and more into my zone. And whenever I was drinking and then I smoked, I was like, holy fuck, dude. Like, I just felt the highness and, like, the, the paranoia and all the sensations you get when you're high trying to fight up against, like, the happy mood that I get whenever I'm drunk. Because me, myself, like, I mean, maybe because, like, uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't have any siblings, so maybe because of that, like, I've always just talk to myself in my head and shit like that and then whenever i got i get exposed to weed i really get locked into my own head and it paranoids me and 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 all that stuff um but yeah that that i mean that story like that one wasn't that bad because eventually the highness wore off and then i was still drunk so it was cool um but one of the last times and the last time that i've ever smoked weed was the time that it was pretty bad so like I said, like, I feel like whenever I smoke, so then there was a point. Okay. So obviously, like I said, I had a guy that sold me some, so I'd buy from him and I said, fuck it, dude. Like I'm, I'm going to try to like smoke weed to like, cause I was going through a lot of shit at the time. So I said, I'm going to try to smoke weed to kind of get over some shit, which you shouldn't, you should really seek help and therapy help and all that shit. If you're going through anything or just suck it up and go to the gym as Andrew Tate says, but, um, so whenever I thought this was a good good idea, I'd buy weed from him. And then I started realizing that, okay, I could smoke weed when I'm by myself. Like, for whatever reason, like, I can't be in a social setting because I feel like people are talking about me. I feel like people are looking at me funny. Like, I, I just feel weird. And, like, I try to, my mind tries to calculate every way to look normal. And what I mean by that is, like, I'll be walking like high out of my mind and then i'll see a chair and i was like okay i need to sit here like am i too close am i too far i need i need to like seem like i'm a part of everybody like you know it's just stupid shit that goes on my mind but anyways what i noticed is whenever i was in a my like by myself and just like and i knew that nobody nobody was watching me like i feel like that's whenever i really strived and the weird thing about it is like i i like being alone and i like to watch like like video creation so i would watch like music videos i'd watch uh like anime uh anything like where you create music and some sort of visual together like i'll watch it and like i just admire like the work that goes behind it the lyrics the music the fucking the video editing the video capture like everything i just started admiring and I was like, oh, fuck, like, finally. And I sleep like a baby and I felt fine. But one time I did it and it just, the sensations just never went away. You know, like whenever you drink and then you're drunk and then you wake up the next day and you're not drunk, you're hungover. Uh, one time or the last time I smoked weed, I um, smoked weed. And then I realized that, oh, fuck, like, 
this shit's not going away. Like I woke up, I woke up the next day and I was tripping. I was like, I'm like, oh, whatever. It's a fluke. And it's weird because I'd walk around like school, like feeling high. And then I, the next day comes the next, like, then one day turned to one week, turned to a month, turned into fucking years, guys. Like I would struggle with this sensation of like, I didn't, I felt high. Like it's, and in the more technical terms, it, it, they call it depersonalization and derealization. I forget the difference between both of them, but it's like you just getting lost in your own head and not feeling like shit is real. As weird as that sounds, it's an actual condition. And if you think I'm tripping, go look it up. Post Malone has even talked about it on Joe Rogan's podcast and even on other interviews that he smoked weed before and it's not for him because he got that deep deep personalization and shit like that and the thing about that that thing guys is like it doesn't go away you just learn how to live with it so to anybody out there that smoke weed and has this weird feeling and you're just tripping out and shit like that because i did for like a few years before i just realized who fucking cares like i mean this is just my new life like don't treat it as like oh my god i need to get rid of this treat it as like a new beginning because that's the way that I did it, and that's ultimately how I guess I cope with it. Um, and it you it's just normal. Like I feel like normal now is just a newfound, you know, way of life. And I mean, it's no different from how I was living before, and it's no different how I'm living now. Like it's just a newfound life, as weird as that sounds. Um, but yeah, uh, again, you don't, you don't, you don't get cured from it. You just learn how to live with it. But yeah, I got that, and I just said, nope, I don't want to do that shit anymore. Because obviously, like, now I'm cool. Like, it doesn't affect me at all in my daily, like, living and shit like that. Like, I know when I see, okay, I'm streaming. I know I'm streaming. I got an iPad here. This is an iPad. I'm playing games. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I know what I'm doing. It's just I learn how to live with it, and it doesn't get to me. The one, one really great thing, though, I mean, it depends how you look at it. If you're a really emotional person and you really feed into your own emotions or, like, you care a lot about what people say, the good thing about that I got from depersonalization, derealization is these emotions numb. Like, they numb in. You know what I mean? Like, they just don't affect you as, as they did. So whenever, like... Uh, let, let's just say that back then i would get more emotional over shit that now i don't i don't know it's fucking weird but it's it's that, that was the only good thing that i had from it is like i i didn't feed into my emotions as much as i did i thought a lot more clear and i'm just like okay like i'm, I'm cool um jesus hold up guys Apparently Dodgers, they have Shohei up and base are loaded, but I don't think he's going to do anything. Um, fuck, guys, I forgot what I was saying. I was, I was telling a, a good story, but I fucking forgot. I got completely distracted, especially with all these messages that I'm getting. But yeah, guys, that pretty much uh, wraps it up for that story that I had. I mean, it was 420. I thought I wanted to share that with with uh, with everybody. So, again, if you have this depersonal de this depersonalization bullshit that I'm talk talking to you about, it gets better. It's you just gotta ignore it. Like really, you just, really. I know it's hard. It's literally there, like 24 seven. But you just gotta learn how to ignore it. Whenever you ignore it, you'll you'll be fine. So, um. But yeah, guys, we're 15 minutes in. That that goes my 420 story. So let's just get right into this because my boys are about, or my boys about to get in there. So, okay. Um, I just get this beer open, hit the trigger. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. We're at 15. Uh, Cheers. Uh, I'm gonna down this one. So. <sighs> uh, 
Also, guys, my boy Cisco wanted to say what's up to you guys. I end up clipping this and sending it to him later. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so this is gonna be actually a really short part. I realistically only have like 40 <coughs> minutes, so we'll see. <coughs> um, Oh, that's the FIB. I don't want to do that. Oh, like I had a gun. I left a, a pie at your trailer with Patricia. Good to see you're settled down. <laughs> that's funny. I can't believe Trevor's dumbass really did that. That was close. What the fuck? <sighs> also, guys, I haven't really had anything to eat. <clears throat> Hit the cue, though. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. Hold up, guys. I'm sending another message.
All right, <clears throat> that's enough of that. Oh my god, dude, I already fucking feel that beer. That's nuts. Park Ranger. God damn it. Wait, what am I doing? Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. No! No! <laughs> I can't believe they have this kind of mission. I don't want to get rid of my fellow illegals. <laughs> God damn it. Just let them get away, man. I'm pretty sure they're hard workers. I'm sure they build shit or harvest some fruit. I don't know. Yes, guys, I'm fucking, I'm Mexican, I'm Latino, I'm not. No, don't even try. <laughs> that is flipping me off. Look at him. Oh shit. America. Wait, I thought those guys were Mexican. I think they're like some sort of Asian descent. Oh, that's a mariachi. He's a stun gun on the mar mariachi. That's fucked up. Run. <laughs> Run. Run. <laughs> I do what you say. <laughs> I can love these guys. Oh, I love music, man.
All right, let's go do that FIB mission. Bro, I'm just glad that all the missions are, like, here, close. Wait, I, is that Patricia chick actually here and is Oh, she's not even here. Are they? Oh, they're probably upstairs, huh? Yeah. Well, how do I get upstairs? Hey, Michael. <laughs> what are you doing, Trevor?
Yes. <laughs> Not at that rate. Fucking Michael just jumping into the walls. Hold up, guys. I got another thing.
I'm gonna just drive without the fucking lights. Thank you, Michael. Tell him straight up. Is that really the, the real definition of a hipster? <laughs> Look guys. I'm an honest believer of like, you need to surround yourself with a circle of people that actually set you straight, not like ridicule, ridicule you and like hate on you, but people who generally see something that's wrong with you and they bring that to your awareness. Now, if that person brings it up to you, I mean, and pushes it really hard, then maybe that's different. But if they tell you and be like, bro, do whatever the fuck you want with it, I'm giving you the information, then boom, clear. I feel like we need people like that. That's why I try to be as honest as I can with some of my friends. Whenever the shit, like, matters. Por no más. <coughs> Guys, I like, I just thought about something. So you guys see how like I have the beer counter here. My first initial thought with the beer counter is like, okay, I'm going to broadcast how many beers I drink. Like it threw out my entire stream. Actually, I'm thinking about this and I'm going to uh, get back with some people and ask for some opinions. But I think I'm going to use this beer counter as how many beers it took me to beat the game. You know what I mean? So like instead of like, oh, this is how many drinks I've had like throughout my entire career, which is going to end up stacking up. Or see, I don't know. I want to like for fun. I want to use this as like, oh, this shit took me like 30 beers to to beat. <laughs> but also, too, I feel like if I show the amount of beers that I drink on stream, I could use that as like a. As like a sponsorship, so I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna brainstorm it. Do I have any? There we
Hmm. That's interesting. No, but this isn't even like ideal because you're gonna they're gonna know that we're gonna be shooting that shit. Ah. Possibly triggered intentionally. Yeah, well, that's smart. They really need to get out of here as quick as they can. I wonder why, though. Is, uh, you guys think that's because uh, it's a, like a small county or like a small town, so they get more attention? Or is there more? Do you guys think it's because like there's something there that's valuable? I don't know. That's interesting, though, to say the least. I think I killed it. Oh, I got that one. That one just died. Committed suicide. I don't blame him. Why the fuck are we going this way? You're dead. Can I go to... Uh, I can't. Nah, you're fucked. Where the fuck's the bike? That should, that should give him a substantial lead. Ah, uh, fuck. How are you gonna... Come on. Perfect. Where the fuck's Michael? Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh fuck bro Michael's hella far I could probably catch up if I'm honest nah that guy's already there Yeah, he fucking made it. He's already there. You're lucky, Michael, motherfucker. I'm the one that's jumping off cliffs and shit.
I actually paid attention to this high, so we'll choose the best one now. Get Franklin. Oh, get Franklin. Well, I guess we'll just choose Chef. What the fuck is he eating anyways? God damn it. That's fucking disgusting. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> uh, what missions do we got? There's a Trevor mission. Minutemen? Let's go check that out. I need a taxi. I made the most outrageous Polito score when he is a military hardware move on the convoy when you can. I wanted to go up there, jackass. Ugh. Oh, no, that's fucking. Mm. I think that's where I fell. <laughs> I killed a deer. How the fuck did these guys get alerted so quick? Oh, just leave me alone.
Now that fucking mission isn't there. Okay, it just popped up. Oh, it's these fucking guys. I mean, you don't have to do all that. Why are these missions in this game? <laughs> Trevor's just like, all right, whatever. I'll get him. I get your ass in here. <laughs> Is he jumping in the back? Oh my god, are we gonna look for more? He just throws him out the window. Wow. No shit. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking racist. The fuck? Do you guys see that? Shit.
No more, please. All right, yeah, you can fucking... Yeah, that's your guys' problem now. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. Apparently, my friend's supposed to be here in the next fucking four minutes. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't got too much to say. Uh, tomorrow, I will be streaming, hopefully a little longer. I know today was a short one, but I did tell you guys it was going to be a short one. Um, so yeah, guys, happy 420. Let's go fucking Lakers. I'm going to watch that game right now. Uh, Devin Haney versus Ke uh, Ryan Garcia. I really don't care who wins, but I mean, it'd be pretty interesting if uh, Ryan Garcia won. So let's go for that guy. All right, guys. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in part number 12 of GTA 5 for the Xbox Series X. Until then, peace and fucking chicken grease. Thumbs out to Nino. Or yes. Whatever.